Hello, viewers, and welcome once again to my weekly devotional. For the next two weeks, I want to be talking to you guys about delighting in God, one of my favorite topics. You know that 90% of my prayer time is just giving thanks unto the Lord and enjoying and delighting in His presence. That may be hard for some of you to believe, but I've come to realize that when I just delight in God, He gives me the desires of my heart. And I know that most of us are familiar with that scripture in Psalms 37 verse 4 that says, Delight in the Lord and He gives you desires of your heart. But some of us are beginning to use that scripture like some kind of spiritual ATM card, thinking that we can just do some kind of religious um, shenanigan and uh, begin to see God give us whatever we want. To start, we, we don't even know what we want. We don't even know what we need concerning relationships. Most of the time, people are praying for a tall, Prince Charming, but what they need is somebody who is disciplined and uh, has the fear of God. I know a good friend of mine who has gone through a terrible divorce because uh, he literally told me he broke up his very good relationship and married somebody because of the size of her. <laughs> I'll just leave it at that. This is the reality of the mistakes we make on a daily basis. So I want to read to you this scripture from the Passion Translation, and it puts it like this. Make God the utmost delight and pleasure of your life, and he will provide for you what you desire the most. God knows the secret petitions of your heart. And as we make him the utmost priority and desire of our daily walk, he will begin to give us the desires of our heart. See, that word delight means anag. It means to be soft or pliable. The word pliable means flexible or bent. In other words, when we bend our hearts or make ourselves flexible and soft in God's presence, God begins to turn your hearts towards his desires. His desires becomes yours desires. I want to encourage you this week. Take time. Take time to rest in God's love. Take time to delight in his pleasure. Don't bring a long list before the Lord. Don't be so anxious about seeing the promises of God come to pass. But rest in the gift of his presence. In the grace that he provides through a personal and peaceful relationship and you will begin to see that your heart is being softened and delighted in the things of God his desires will slowly become your desires and he will begin to give you the desires of your heart the book of Thessalonians puts it like this always be joyful never stop praying be thankful in all circumstances for this is God's will for you who belong to Christ Jesus. This is God's will for us. To be joyful always. That is, for me, the highest form of prayer. Just to be thankful in every situation. I'm not saying fake it. I'm saying choose to see God in every situation of life. The Bible says he inhabits the praises of his people. And as we delight in God, we will begin to see a transformation take place in our hearts. And we'll begin to get to that place where we hardly even have to pray long prayers because we've become one with God. The book of John says that if we be in him and his words be in us, ask anything and it shall be granted. That's what it means to delight in God. So this week, take time. Take time and enjoy God's presence. Stop using prayer like it's some kind of ATM card and enjoy the presence of God. I don't know about you, but I'm reminded every time from the Holy Spirit that he's more interested in who I become than what I do. And when I rest my head on his bosom, when I fellowship with him on a daily basis, I'm becoming more like Jesus. And I've come to find out that when I reflect his character and his nature, in my sleep, he grants me grace. And I wake up and his mercies are new every morning. And it's given me the desires of my heart. 
And the Lord bless you and keep you. May he smile over you and be gracious to you. May he grant you his favor this week and give you his peace to delight in his presence. God bless you.